My name is Martin LePage. I'm a pediatric electrophysiologist at the University of Michigan. Uh, my talk today uh, at the World Congress was on catecholaminergic polymorphic ventricular tachycardia. And I thought this was a good topic to discuss because uh, it is a disease that can present in both children and adults. Uh, it is uh, something that can be a, a misdiagnosis frequently. Uh, recently, the Heart Rhythm Society has published guidelines on the diagnosis and management of the disease. Um, the uh, disease itself is characterized by exercise-induced ventricular arrhythmias, typically polymorphic or bidirectional ventricular tachycardia. Uh, it tends to present in young patients between the ages of 5 and 20, but there is also a selection of patients who present later in life after the age of 21. Uh, the chance of sudden death in the disease is approximately 30 percent, so it is a very important disease to diagnose, and the delay in diagnosis for most patients can be between uh, two and seven years, uh, as it is uh, frequently misdiagnosed as seizures or, uh, or other reasons for syncope. Uh, the new guidelines for the treatment of the disease uh, describe uh, lifestyle modifications, uh, decreasing the amount of catecholamine and exercise that the patients perform. Uh, beta blockers are the most important medical strategy to decrease the risk of sudden death, uh, and they are successful at modulating the disease and decreasing that risk. The uh, compliance with the beta blocker is extremely important. Uh, patients who are on beta blocker and have events tend to uh, have not taken their medicine on the day of, of the event. Uh, there have been recent developments in the additional treatment of the disease, including uh, class one antiarrhythmics, specifically flecainide and propafenone, uh, have been shown to uh, decrease the risk of ventricular arrhythmias when added to beta blocker, especially flecainide in, in patients. Other class one antiarrhythmics, however, have not been shown to decrease uh, the chance of arrhythmias. Uh, uh, ICDs for treatment of the disease should be reserved for patients who have been on optimal, optical med optimal medical management and um, possibly had a, a sympathetic denervation uh, as the, the complication rate with these devices is high in the disease. The chance that shocks will be successful is only about 50% uh, and patients frequently have inappropriate shocks. Uh, overall, uh, if diagnosed correctly and early, the disease is very treatable and the risk of sudden death uh, can be significantly decreased.